to share the word of God in a simple way. And I believe that we shall be blessed. The Bible says in the book of Romans 5, from verses 17, uh, For if by the one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness who reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. Therefore, as through one man's offense, judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation. Even so, through one man's righteous act, the free gift came to give all men, resulting in justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so also by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. Uh, maybe when you hear me mention the word one man's offense, you would ask yourself, what does one man's offense mean? Uh, this particular one man is the man Adam. When, when Adam was put in the Garden of Eden after being created by God, he was given some instructions by the Lord and he was told that there is a tree that you're not supposed to eat and when you eat of it, this is what will happen. You will die and when you die also, there will be a chasing away from the Garden of Eden and we saw those, we, what we see is, we see Adam being thrown out of the Garden of Eden but we don't see Adam dying and maybe some of you may ask what did the Bible mean when what did God mean when he said that Adam will die this is what he meant there are three types of death there is what we call physical death that is the the, the physical death is what the Bible says it has been appointed by God that one time a man will die that is dying physically where maybe for example, God forbid you're sick and you die. That is what we call physical death or you find yourself in an accident and you get to die. But also we have another death that is spiritual death. Now spiritual death is what, what we mean by being separated from the presence of God. And that is what actually happened to Adam. When Adam sinned or when Adam committed the offense, what happened to him is he, he was separated from the the presence of the Lord because the where he had been put that is Eden Eden actually means the presence of God so when he was drawn out of Eden he was separated from the presence of God and that is what we call spiritual death then there is the second death or eternal death now eternal death it is the death that occurs to the people that are not born again to the people that have not received Jesus Christ as the apostle or savior and listen now through this one man through the man adam offense or death reigned through this one man and that is what happens through adam all humanity when you are being birthed you you are being birthed in a place of sin and with a nature of sin and that's why david says in the book of psalm 51 that i was born in sin so when you are born when when you are born on this earth what happens is you are born from a place of sin because you carry the nature of sin but now how do you come out from that particular nature of sin you are born as a person that is spiritually dead so how do you come back come now to this place where you are alive where now the bible is speaking about this particular man that makes others righteous and that man is jesus christ the bible says in the book of john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him whosoever i am talking about whosoever no matter what you have done in your life you are the whosoever you might be a murderer you might be a person that has aborted you might be a person that is a thief whatever you have done in life the bible says whosoever believes in him will not perish but will have eternal life and it continues to say that jesus never came to condemn us but he came so that we can have life and that is my prayer today that maybe you are out there and maybe you are dead spiritually 
spiritually maybe you have not accepted Jesus as your personal savior I just want to take this opportunity to pray with you because it will be so bad finishing this show without praying with you and I just want you to repeat this prayer after me and say with me Lord Jesus I accept that I am a sinner and I understand I am in the category of whosoever and right now I believe in my heart that you came you died and you rose on the third day and right now I confess with my mouth that I am born again and I declare that oh devil I don't want your works anymore I accept that I am born again and I will live for he who has who was willing to come and die for me in Jesus name we pray. If you have made that prayer, you are born again. You can look for a church near you, a Bible-believing church. God bless you.